plan. I see you. Okay, so listen. It's a whole lot of tea. You know, this is supposed to be like a kind of like an open topic, but not really. I was going to catch up on some tea that, you know, we hadn't, we haven't uh, sipped on yet because I've been gone for three or four days. But I want to first, I want to shout out to Rodney Ho at the AJC. Look, Rodney Ho at the AJC. Hold on. Can I pull it up? Hold on. Let me find it. Hold. So Rodney Ho over at the AJC got an exclusive recently about NeNe Leak Swag Boutique. You know, right? I like Rodney a lot. I like Rodney a whole lot. We've been in this game. Look, he's been in this game probably longer than me. But, you know, we, we've shared some tips occasionally. And, you know, this is Atlanta. You know, I, I, I seem to know everybody and everybody seems to know me. But you wouldn't know that, you know according to youtube don't nobody know me but i digress i digress but shout out to rodney ho but rodney ho uh was up at uh the sugarloaf mills boutique i mean sugarloaf mills and he found out that there was a sign in the swag boutique and it said it was a sale 50 to 75 percent off so rodney was like what is going on what is going on with the boutique uh nini leaks he went and called nini and nini told him probably look it is a pandemic Okay, people are not buying clothes and shopping in the mall like they used to. It's several stores that's closed down, not just mine. And then Sugarloaf Mall is a whole bunch of I think they were talking about Nordstrom. There's a whole bunch of people. But anyway, I digress. It ain't about Nordstrom. It ain't about none of that. This is about Nene Leaks because y'all like to drag her. So we're going to talk about her. Y'all, you know, all y'all who like to celebrate black businesses closing. But anyway, I digress. Um, Nene uh, said that the, the store isn't actually closing. Okay. Nene actually said that the store is now going to online. Now, she has several other locations. She also has a boutique in Miami. She also has a boutique in, in MGM Grand in the DMV. So, you know, it's, you know, shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. But um, so according to uh, Rodney Ho, Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me let me let me remove this and just read it to you. Uh, Rodney said that uh, Leaks closed the Sugarloaf Mill store in March, um, but you know that was around the start of the pandemic, and posted an Instagram video about about it at the time. But the store eventually reopened, as did the mall. But you know, he said brick and mortar sales for the for the clothing stores have not recovered, and while many chains have failed, uh, have filed for bankruptcy protection in recent months, including the Men's Warehouse, J. Cruz, Neiman Marcus, J.C. Penney, and Taylor Brooks Brothers, and Lord and Taylor. However, Nene Leaks Swag Boutique is not one of the ones who filed bankruptcy; they just decided to close their location and go to online sales. Now, he also noted that her co-star Candy Burns. You know, Tags Boutique, you know, I talked about this early on my ride along, you know, uh, a few months back, you know, I was over at the Houston's on Peace Street Street, you know, the Houston's, you know, that we were supposed to be boycotting, but they lifted the boycott because I guess T.I. decided it was okay to eat ribeye, but I digress. But uh, with me, and shout out to Benge Worthy, my friend Benge Worthy, I hope he come back soon. Oh, I'm all over the place. But anyway, uh, me and Benjworthy was over at the Houston's and we just happened to notice that the Tags Boutique sign was missing. You saw the, 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 the shadow image of what used to be Tags, but it was not there. Now, this was back in like April. So it was like, what is going on? Why has Candy been so hush hush about the boutique? However, later on, you know, Candy revealed that she had moved her boutique closer to her OLG gang restaurant. And it was also after it was revealed that she had got the PPP loan and blah, blah, blah. Maybe she, you know, whatever the case may be, I ain't in her pockets. It ain't my business. All I know is it was closed and nobody said nothing. And I wasn't the one, I wasn't trying to be the one to out her for being, you know, for it being closed because y'all would have been like, you always dragging candy. But I digress. So um, moving back to Nene Leaks, Rodney Ho noticed that there was also other signs in the store. There was also other signs in the store like this one said, all sales are final. 50% to 75% off. So if y'all want some, some swag boutique clothes from the from the damn Sugarloaf Mall, go ahead and get you some. Go ahead. It, it, there's also some fixtures. Look, she got a little bloop shirt. You know, it's still open right now, but it's in the process of clothing that of closing that off the shoulder dress. That's kind of cute. I like that right there. Wait a minute, he put my video in here. Look at Rodney putting my video in here. I'm literally shocked. I am literally shocked. Rodney put my video in. 
I'm tickled right now, y'all. How Rodney gonna put my video in here? That's so shady. But anyway, y'all remember when I was at Swag? <laughs> y'all remember when I was at Swag Boutique with Cynthia? Look, it's right here. Oh my God. Okay. And I was messing around with <laughs> It's over on the AJC. Hold on. Let me turn this off. I didn't mean to turn it up. But we had a good time. This was actually her swag boutique that used to be in Buckhead. She actually moved the swag boutique from Buckhead to uh, Sugarloaf, and it, which was closer to her house. And, you know, I was like, well, I ain't going to Sugarloaf. That is too far for me to drive. Like, I come to Buckhead, but I ain't going nowhere else. But, you know, I digress. She does have some nice pieces. I got some, too. I got some, too. Y'all talk about clout, honey. Rodney then gave me some clout. Shout out to Rodney Ho and the AJC for putting me in the damn AJC. See, I feel special. I feel so special right now. I like literally, y'all. I didn't. <laughs> I did not know. Look, shout out to Kip for the for the super chat. Thank you so much, Kip. I appreciate you. Now, you know, look. Let's get away from that because who really cares? Who really cares? If y'all want to buy the clothes, buy the clothes. If you don't want to buy the clothes, don't buy the clothes. It's all good. It's all gravy. You know, Nene will survive, I'm sure. But, you know, none of us want to see any black businesses fail. So I would suggest, you know, go buy you some Tags Boutique. Go buy you some Nene Leaks. Go buy you some look, Portia, her, her damn sheets and her weave. Go buy you some Tanya Sam's uh, cannabis. Go buy you some what Marlo selling. I don't know. Just just support all of you know the the black businesses out there, including small black businesses like myself. I got t-shirts for sale, <laughs> but I digress. I digress. But anyway, you said no, thank you, no, thank you. It sure is all good. God help a hater. I've been to that mall, nothing in there. Don't blame her, right? Okay, okay. Thank you so much for the super chat, Kip the Fire Guy. Yes, thank you so so much, Kip the Fire Stick Guy. We appreciate you. Nene Leaks is a boss and online shopping is a smart move. Okay, Kathy, I'm with you. I Look, I bought this shirt online the other day. What is she saying? I'll be all, look, leave it to me. I'm up all night long. I'll be all on the Amazon shopping for clothes. I'll be all on Fashion Nova. I'll be all on Nordstrom in the app. I'll be all over the place so if you ain't shopping online i don't know what you're doing what are you doing i, I don't even go to the mall no more i'm lazy <laughs> but that's just me but that's just me now what else did i have to talk about?